Well, this video has been played more than a half a million times on YouTube, showing bison galloping supposedly out of Yellowstone National Park days before the March 30th earthquake there. It's fueled plenty of speculation that the animals sensed it ahead of time. But experts at Yellowstone disagree, saying the bison are actually running toward the park. They often do that at this time of the year as they search for food. We humans are an intelligent species, able to solve complex problems, build relationships, and plan for the future. And we're curious. For instance, nearly everyone has wondered what a dog or a bird or a dolphin might be thinking. On Wednesday night, the PBS science series Nova tries to answer that. If they were students in a classroom, the wolf would be focusing down on the test and solving the problem. The dogs would be cheating by looking at somebody else's test. So the dogs need us to solve the problem, whereas the wolves are perfectly capable of doing it on their own. The three-part series is titled Inside Animal Minds, and joining us now are Julia Court, senior producer for NOVA, and Diana Reese, an animal cognition expert and professor at Hunter College. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Julia, let me start with you. The, uh, what, what exactly did the series try to get at? Well, the series looks at one very simple question. Right. What are animals thinking? And as you said, it's something every pet owner thinks about. But scientists think about it too. And so we look at all these different kinds of research and we look at it in three ways. Problem solving with birds, senses with dogs, and then intelligence. And we explore this question, does living a really complicated social life actually contribute to having a big brain and higher intelligence? And that's when we feature dolphins and some of the really interesting work that Diane has been doing. But you know, Diane, I think pessimists out there might say, these are just things that we've trained an animal to do. We've taught them how to master these games. How do you know what's actually happening in an animal's mind? Yeah, that's a great question. And what we're doing is the scientists, we're trying to give animals situations where we can look at what they're doing. Mm -hmm. So for example, we can give them uh, different items to manipulate, we give them problems to solve. With the new technology that exists, we can actually say what's going on in their minds when they're looking at something, when they're getting certain kinds of information. Julia, you were involved in this entire series. Was there any one particular animal that really surprised you? Well, I have to say I was the most blown away by the birds because there are certain animals that have a reputation for being smart, right. like dolphins and elephants and chimps because they're closely related to us. But ravens and crows are amazing. Mm -hmm. And there's this great scene in the series that I loved with this raven named Bran. Mm -hmm. And his owner is always trying to give him challenges. And one day he put a piece of meat in a plastic soda bottle and We're looking crushed at that it. Right now, yeah. And Bran figured out on his own to put the soda bottle in his bird bath and use water to swish wow. around and get the meat out. And I thought that was just incredible. You know, Diana, Julia mentions dolphins and elephants. I was surprised because it seems like in your research they also have a very human trend, which is complex social groups. They have this interest in being around other people. Yeah, like us, dolphins do have this complex so society. And what's interesting is they're very much like us. They cooperate with each other. They help raising young. They're young. They again, cooperation is a big deal if you're an, a, 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 an animal. And these are these are ways that help them survive. With that comes intelligence, what we call social cognition. These animals have big brains, like elephants, dolphins, apes, and us humans. We're a lot alike. Is it about brain size, actually? Well, what's interesting is that animals that have brains that are larger than you would expect them to be for a body that size tend to show more innovative in innovation and flexibility in their behavior. And we talk about that as intelligence. It really is a fascinating, I mean, we're watching a lot of the experiments as we speak. It was really fascinating to watch these dolphins respond like to their own image. Yeah. Great this is stuff. the work we've done at the National Aquarium with dolphins, showing mere self-recognition. Diana Reese, Julia Court, thank you both so much. Thank you for having us. Thanks.